In this video, we are going to learn how to solve trigonometry differentiation with Casio calculator. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve trigonometry differentiation with Casio FS and one ES plus calculator easily. Okay, let's begin. Now, note that in trigonometry, cosec theta is the same thing as 1 over sine theta, sec theta is the same thing as 1 over cos theta cot theta is same thing as 1 over tan theta. Very, very important. We are going to see the application of what we have noted here as we progress into the particle section of this video. Okay, know that in this video, we will be replacing theta with x as we move into the calculator aspect of this video. So, we will be replacing theta with x in the calculator. Having known that, let's now look at the examples we have here and solve it together. So example 1 it says, differentiate a function y equals cos theta over sine theta with respect to theta. We have the options here to be option a minus sine squared theta, option b Minus cos x square theta, option C none, option D sec theta. So right now let's bring the calculator and solve this problem together. So the first thing you have to do will be to clear the calculator. The essence of clearing the calculator is to avoid unnecessary error. Why solving? Because you may not remember whether you have stored a previous value in the calculator. To clear your doubts and avoid unnecessary error, you are advised to clear the calculator before you start solving. So right now to clear the calculator, the first thing you will have to do is to press shift first, shift, then this button 9, do the instruction, want to clear or you press 3, press the button, press the button again. So now the calculator has been cleared. Next thing we do will be to put the calculator in ready smooth. As you can see it's in degree. To put it in reduce mode, the press shift mode category 4 is reduced. So you press 4, the 9 reduce mode, very, very important to avoid unnecessary error. So, having done this, next thing we do now is to store a value in the calculator. We store every number in the calculator we use to differentiate this function. Now, you can store three numbers like two, three, four in that order in a calculator. You can store any of these numbers, but I would advise you to always work with two. Always store two because I have worked with two for a long time personally and I have not found any error with it. So I will advise you to be working with two. But right now, let's start to in the calculator. To start to, you press the number first two, then press shift store this button RCL and the alphabet X. So once you do it, yeah, it will indicate that two has been stored as X in the calculator. So you write it and impute this function in the calculator. So to do that, you first of all bring out the integral sorry the differentiation symbol in the calculator so to bring out the differentiation symbol you press sh shift this integral button sign and you come out d over dx so you input the function is in function we have cos theta so there's no theta in the calculator so we present this theta with x as we noted here so to bring out x you press alpha and x you have to press alpha first before pressing x if you don't follow this pattern x no command if you just press x x no command unless you press alpha first before x so you close the brackets and come down we have sine theta which will be sine x so you press alpha x close the brackets then come back to this place and put two restored. So let's press report. 
minus 1.209. So right now, we are going to evaluate each and every one of these options to so see the one will give us minus 1.209. So let's start with option A. Option A says minus sine square theta. So right now, we have minus sine theta how you put it alpha x for the bracket square. So this is how you present this option minus sine square theta in the calculator minus sine in bracket x square. So let's press report to minus 0 0.826. No, this is not what we got. So let's check option B. So it says minus cosec square theta. And there's no cosec in the calculator. That's why I made it to do that cosec theta is same thing as one over sine theta. So right now we, we replace cosec theta with one over sine theta in the calculator. So let's do it. So it's starting with minus. So we press minus in fraction one over come down sine x alpha x and close the brackets square so minus cos square theta this is how you present in the calculator minus one over sine x square so we press report to we have minus 1.209 so this is what we got when we differentiated so option b is the answer to this question so it's as simple as that now let's solve one more example and call this a class so example two here says differentiate the function y equals press sign in bracket 4 minus 5x with respect to x so let's bring the calculator and solve this problem together. So we start by bringing out the differentiation symbol. So to do that, I press shift this integral button. So divide by the x to impute the function. So we have 3 sine in brackets. So we have 4 minus. 5x so we press alpha x so we put the brackets always make sure that the brackets are balanced before you do the next thing so as you can see on the right hand side we have two brackets one two and the left hand side we have two brackets one and two make sure they're balanced if they're not balanced you get error after imputing your values so having known that let's continue we we'll come about this place and press two we start the calculator then press report two we have minus 14.40 right now let's evaluate these options we have here and see the one that give us minus 14.40 so you wipe this so let's start with option a we have 15 plus Four minus five x, which is alpha x. So you put the brackets. Now I press the port. So fourteen point four zero. So this is what we got when we differentiated. The difference here is that this one is having minus. Is that this one is not having minus rather. The one we differentiated, we had minus to the answer, but this one is not having minus. So, and option B here is the same. The values we have here for option B are the same for option A. The only difference is that option B here has negative sign. So, we don't need to differentiate option. Sorry. So, we don't need to. In evaluate option B again since it's already having 
minus sign. So the answer to this question is option B. So guys, this is how you can solve trigonometric differentiation with Casio calculator. It's as simple as that. Just follow the steps I have shown you in this video, and you'll be able to get the answer correct in any trigonometric differentiation question you are given to solve especially for multiple choice questions so that's it for this class guys we have come to the end of this class i hope i taught this topic very well if you are new to our channel make sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video comment and tell me what you feel about what you have learned in this class if you have any specific questions to ask feel free to leave it in the comment section below i'll be sure to give you a response also check out my videos on how to solve first derivative with classic calculator how to solve higher derivatives i gave the tricks i used to solve higher derivatives in my video on higher derivatives so make sure you watch that video together with that of first derivative i'm going to leave links to them in the description of this video below check the description of this video below you will see the links to my videos on higher derivatives and first derivative so that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video